everyone! Today's video is all about Chapter 5 of the Dalaran Heist, which is Blizzard's single-player adventure for the Rise of Shadows expansion. Before we start, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nicolina, and I'm a Hearthstone player and streamer for Bay 2 Karma. I stream every night on Twitch, so let's move on to the heist. If you haven't started the adventure yet, it's all about helping Rafam and his evil league take over the city of Dalaran. You choose a hero class at the start of each run and then choose between three hero powers. You get a starter deck and then you have to defeat eight bosses which increase in difficulty as the run goes on. You get to add more cards and unique passive and active treasures to your deck as you go through the heist. So far, we've participated in four chapters. Chapter 5, the topic of this video is actually the final chapter. Each chapter has its own twist, and the twist for this chapter is four extra encounters. That's right, four more bosses than the previous chapters. Now that's more straightforward than the previous twist, but it doesn't make this chapter any less difficult to complete. It's actually really satisfying to finish this one just because it is so much longer than the others. Definitely feels like an achievement when you get it done. Since this isn't a very complex concept, in this video I'm going to play a game versus each of the extra final bosses and give you some tips and tricks that will hopefully help you defeat them in your run. I'm not going to show every new boss, there are a bunch that are new in this chapter that actually weren't in the previous chapters, but I'm not going to go over them here just for the sake of time of this video. The new heroes for this chapter are Warlock and Paladin, the last two classes that we haven't been able to play yet in all of the previous chapters. Now you can go back um, into those chapters and play as these characters. For this video, since these are the new characters, they're the ones I'm going to use for these runs and these example games. The Warlock hero is Takan. His hero powers, he starts with the normal Warlock life tap. The second hero power is Pain Split, which takes two damage uh, to your hero, but it also deals two damage to a target of your choosing. It's kind of like a targeted study shot or an extra damage ping. The third hero power is called the Pact. It also costs two mana. It's take two damage and summon a 2-2 imp. This is okay because there are packages that have a lot of demon buff cards in them. So you can go with the Smork strategy or it can go well with like a zoo type deck. The Paladin hero starts with just the regular Paladin hero power as always. The second hero power is backup. This adds three 1-1s one to your hand. The third one also costs two is called Boon of Light and it gives the minion Divine Shield. As I said before, there are actually a bunch of new bosses in this chapter, and I am not gonna go through them all. I'll focus on the final three, Vargoth, Kallik, and Khadgar. Some good treasure picks for this strategy are Emerald Goggles, Robes of Gaudiness, Scepter of Summoning, and Expedite. Cards of treasures that generate value are also really good here. Some examples are Potion of Vitality, Case Study, Evil Propaganda, Totem of the Dead, Battle Totem, and Elixir of Vigor. First up is Archmage Vargoth. His hero power, Arcane Runes, costs zero mana and adds a random arcane spell to his hand. Okay, so here we are. I am ready to take on the first of the final three bosses of the Dalaran Heist. Vargoth is a crafty mage. I suspect he hides cards in his sleeves. Yikes, the same as a cheater. All right. So again, Arcane Ruins, add a random Arcane spell to your hand, cost zero. Okay, so let's take a quick overview of the deck I have going here on Heroic Mode before we start the game. So yes, there's the Twist, Emerald Goggles, the leftmost card in your hand costs two less, pretty helpful. A Floating Watcher, cost zero. Scepter of Summoning. Your minions that cost five or more cost five and then two more or two less when they're on the left. And I've got a bunch of like kind of crappy minions here. Dark Peddler, Firefly, Doomsayer, Sun Fury. I also have Dagwick Sticky Toe after he attacks the hero. Steal a card from their hand. You can get some of those spells, some of those arcane spells. And yeah, so just a bunch of kind of crappy mini, but then we have four golden candles, which will replace all other cards with random legendaries, so we can play a bunch of cheap stuff, since they cost two less, and then turn them into legendaries pretty early in the game. 
We also have Glinda. Minions have Echo. We have Rafam in our Rafam uh, evil deck, actually. The Lich King, three Void Lord, another Lich King, but a 12 12, uh, and a bunch of giants, which are going to be really, really discounted thanks to our passive treasures. So hopefully we can win here on the first try. This is my first try on heroic mode, so let's do it. I think our deck is pretty good. Here we go. We'll see about that. So I don't think we would want to keep anything. So you gotta remember the card on the left is gonna cost two less. We really want the golden legendary taunt. Or that the taunt that turns our cards to legendary. So let's just keep nothing. Get a new hand. Oh my gosh. This hand is very large. Three mana Void Lord, though. You don't see that very often. Alright, alright, chill. He starts with four mana, so you got a free spell and a cosmic anomaly. Alright, we got the golden candle, but. Um, hmm. We already have, like, a bunch of legendaries in our hand. Next turn, we can play Void Lord. Hmm. All right, that's an aggressive start from Varka. Kind of scary. Taking a lot of damage. Good thing we have this taunt. Ooh, Mountain Giant. That's excellent. I think we definitely, <laughs> definitely want to play that. Oh, music's a little, or the Hearthstone sounds kind of loud. Oh, if he clears this Void Lord, we're going to be able to turn all of the 1-3s into random legendaries if we want. Hmm. Not all of them. <laughs> oh boy, so these all have spell damage they're adding to his spells, but he's running out of stuff. Maybe we don't even want to... Give him legendaries at this point. Don't know what the seeker could be. Could be splitting image if we trade into one of his minions. Or it could be vaporize if we go face with the giant. We may want to value trade into this. And play another Void Lord? So many random legendaries. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's try to trade here. All right, nothing happened there. Maybe we just trade the giant into the four two. Oh, duplicate. All right. Well, that's fine. We could just play this, honestly. We could trade, value trade, and um, replace everything with random legendaries so we don't get to play the Lich King. I think maybe we just wait till we play the Lich King. A lot of thoughts here, a lot of options we could do. Random legendaries are probably not better than the Lich King. All right. Another spell. Knowledge is power. Oh. Good order. Probably wanted to hear about after playing the Inspire minion. Oh my god, more Lich King. Okay, so we probably just tap, see what happens, play the Lich King like we planned on. We can trade this. We actually might want to trade into the damage one, B 
because it's giving the spell damage right now. So that way this one doesn't give him plus two spell damage. Pretty good. Random spell. Ronin. Plays a lot of copies of Ronin. Okay, we can value trade into Ronin and then play the the monkey. Okay, this would discard our lowest cost card. It gives us another legendary on board if we play it though, and makes this cost two less. And this cost two less. Maybe we do it just to get the mana discount. It's gonna discard the Dark Peddler. Or the Doomsayer. So we can value trade into Ronin. We could go face, but this Lich King is gonna be transformed anyway, so. I go face the 3 5. Discarded Peddler. We could get another minion on board, or we could play. We might not be able to play the card in the left, so we could just play Doomsayer and turn it into a legendary. Probably good. No, it's not. We also could have traded the Void Lord and got three Void Walkers that would be legendaries into Ronin. Mm, we should have done that. We took three to the face, but it might have been better just to get more legendaries on board. Ah. All right. That was a play as well. This is fine, too. Oh no, free arcane missiles! All right, so. Hmm, what do we got? Dr. Morgan, Mukla, Countess Ashmore, Bolvar, and Dark Paint. Whenever a friendly minion dies, gain plus one attack. This one draws. Mm, but we could play these, we could play Mukla and Morgan if we do. If we just play the card from the left. We have 28 damage, so we should might as well just trade with this Emperor. And we'll just play two minions. We can also play a banana. Who do we want a banana? Maybe we banana like... He might have a Meteor. So we could banana this twice and then it doesn't die to Meteor. Oh, we can't play two. Ah. Well, then we can't save it. And we might as well off the taunt. Nice. This is looking good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big boy. It's a big dragon. And he might have dragons in the hand. <gasps> oh, okay. The darkness. Wow, that's... There's a lot of cards in deck, though. Hmm. Do we take the risk on killing this and bringing out a bunch of dragons? What form of wickedness shall I choose? We have 35 damage. Sorry, I was counting there. I don't uh, have deck track or anything like that on. That's not quite enough. Could just ignore that guy and go face. I don't know, man. All right, chill. Okay, we can draw this. We can draw cards. Let's see what we draw. Brush. Life steal. And another Dr. Morgan. Okay. Well, Zilliax is awesome to have. We don't have a mech on board to make a big one. We could buff the Morgan and double trade. Take the chance on dragons to come out. I think maybe we just leave it for now. Leave it alone. We can still buff Morgan though. We can also tap. Another Zilliax, okay. So we've got some healing anyway. And yeah. Oh boy. That's not scary. Oh my gosh. No way. 
Oh, he has duplicates. Okay. I was like, he's gonna go back to whatever huge amount of health he had. But we're fine. This is probably lethal. Wait, gotta count. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. We're just killing him here. Wow, that was pretty fast. Yes, all right, cool, cool. Next up is Archmage Kallik. His hero power, Dragon Wrath, costs one and gives him plus one spell damage. This can get really scary because it stacks. So the longer the game goes on, the more spell damage he has. Hopefully we can take him down before it gets to that point. So let's give it a try. All right, here we go. It's Archmage Kallik and it's just a matter of time before he's the next Maligos. He has 90 health, Dragon Wrath, give your hero spell damage plus one. And yeah, here's our deck and we're ready to go. The League of Evil does not tolerate failure by the way, but you can always try again. He's threatening us. I think we can keep the gold candle. It's pretty good. I don't think we need two, though. It's on the left, so we can play this on turn two. Okay. All right. I like it. That's going to be wild. Oh, 100. Actually has 10 more health than it said he did. Oh, has so many spells. I feel like they always summon Lore Walker Cho. During my normal run, I think that like two of them randomly got Lore Walker Cho, but my decks barely have spells, so uh, if we do play the candle, he's gonna get two legendaries, and we're only gonna get one. Kind of annoying. We could just Doomsayer this and then play it next turn on a. We could play Firefly and Candle next turn, empty board, and give him. Zero legendaries. Okay, I don't know why we want to trade. Of course, it could have mere entity. All these mage secrets. Oh no, we know it's explosive ruins. Thank you. Thank you, Cho. Okay, so this is gonna take six damage. Wait, what? Oh. Oh no, gets a double bonus. Okay, well that didn't work out. We're just gonna have to go Firefly Oh, it's going to be explosive, so we're going to have to go. We can't do that. But we could avoid this taking six, so maybe we do that anyway. Do we Arcane Blast? No, there's nothing we can really do to clear these. Hmm, I guess we can just proc this, the ruins with the Firefly then. Yeah, it seems like probably our best option. And then just hope this Cho and Guy don't turn into anything more troublesome what'd we get oh oh cadgar oh god cadgar and spell damage okay Ooh, all right cadgar's out of the way Ooh. at the end of each turn someone called friendly minions that died grumble I can get this back to my hand it's kind of nice Zale and Stiladris aren't great. So we might just want to play Grumble after we trade. I mean, we want to start making a dent in this 100 health, but... Oh, man. Also, taking off the Divine Shield seems good. And if we're going to bring this back to our hand, we... Oh, no, we should kill this to give him one less Legendary. We're going to transform that we can play it this turn. Yeah, okay. And then... Yeah, I don't really love our legendaries, so let's get new ones. Oh, no! Lanessa! Oh, that's rough. What else did we get? Sylvanas is good. Okay. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's yikes. Okay, that's a small guy. We should pr- Ah, oh, Vanessa, come on. You are a horrible legendary. Let's see. We could play Sylvanas and Glass Knight. We could just probably just do that, huh? Tessa's gonna be really good because we got legendaries from other classes like Glass Knight. Uh, yeah, but we gotta trade into this. Hopefully he has a dragon, honestly. Alright. He does. Yeah, we could just do that. Looking good. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, Illidan, no big deal. We would if we trade Sylvanas we don't get a minion, which is kinda lame. But the Undertaker is gonna get Sylvanas' death rattle back anyway. I feel like we can just trade Sylvanas. <gasps> oh, thanks, dude. We could actually just play both of these, too. We could play Baku or both of these. Mm, I think we could make our board super strong. We get another Glass Knight. And Grumble. Forgot about Grumble. This looks pretty strong, Calic. What are you gonna do? Hmm, yes. Okay, so it's plus four spell damage. It's getting up there. Mm, Geppetto isn't the greatest guy to have around right now. Should play around. What? Play around what? Calm down, I'll take all the time I want. We'll just play it though. I don't even, do we even trade with this? I guess we get one of those minions, but it's not that good. We could just, oh, maybe we double trade the four threes. Oh, tiny gruel, tiny Onyxia. <laughs> Harik the Bat. Okay, we don't want to trade that yet. But there's always the chance we get an 01 anyway. Okay. Okay, this got rid of my Divine Shields though, so he could possibly clear my board here. Uh huh, yeah. That's a convenient one to get right here, isn't it? Gosh, guys, that's really annoying. I mean, I think I'll just go face. I don't... He's going to have to trade this. We're getting... Oh, we might get nothing. This will die probably... This will die before um, this death rattle goes off. Ah. countered. We'd probably just tap and go face. <sighs> However, if we do that, then no, we'll give him the board if we do that. We actually have to make the trade. It hurts. so bad. He still gets the minions. <laughs> okay, we could play Gazlo and Fugin. We could also play Katrina. We might have Lundasta or something, but I think getting the value of the hero power right now is good. The synergy! What? Got elemental synergy from the golden candle. Wow, that was amazing golden candle for him, guys. Ooh, okay. Well, we've got some one ones. Not good. Not looking good. Okay. 
Okay. We should probably see if we have a beast or we could tap. Tap first. No, that's a beast! <laughs> no! Uh, I wanted to tap first to see if there's a minion we'd rather play. Maybe we've got another one. Show me the beast. Undasta. Makes none. Okay. And we might as well play these, like, three minions on the left. Tiny Onyxia, though. Probably can wait to play that. We could kill the big thing. We could trade in tokens. Uh, we have poisonous for this. Face? I guess. It doesn't really have spells anymore though. That's the thing. Another Chilma. Because all his cards are legendaries. <laughs> So actually, he uh, probably cannot do anything with the hero power. I just realized that. Okay, I guess we poison the Chilma. See if he has a dragon. Oh yeah, guess he didn't play it yet. Ooh, oh, I remember this card. So good. Oh, I never want to play this. It's going to fill our whole board. It's annoying that that's on the left. So probably just trade Gazlo. Eh, uh, we play it now. Just get it out of the way. Totally forgot he wouldn't have Meteor because all his cards are legendaries. If an enemy minion dies, summon a leper gnome. <laughs> that really ruins my plan. I was gonna trade these one ones. I don't really want to give him a bunch of leper gnomes. I guess I can give him two leper gnomes. Wait, we don't have Lethor at eight. That... No, ten off. It's getting there. Yes, let's see if we have a beast. Oh, that's not a good beast. Come on. We either have Malorn or Boogie Monster. Guess we can play both. Sure. All right. Let's go. Could have. Wow. Another anomalous. Wow. Well, his golden monkey minions were pretty good, but not as good as ours. Oh, we got Elysiana. <laughs> Perfect. We made it to the final boss. Last, but certainly not least, is Archmage Khadgar. He may seem harmless at the start, despite that huge health total, but his hero power is pretty good, and it gives him a large amount of value and a big advantage if you don't deal with it correctly. It's called Summon Elemental, and what it does is it will give him a 2-3 elemental that copies all of his spells. So every spell that he casts is basically going to be cast twice. Here we go. Okay, before we go into the final boss with our paladin deck this time, we get to choose a treasure. These are all kind of interesting. Fill our board with annoying minions, which we have some mechs to, and it's nice value. Shuffle a boom bot when drawn to explodes for 50 damage. Each turn this is in your hand, transform into random treasure. So 50 damage is half of Almost half of Khadgar's health. Hmm. 
the annoying minions is pretty good, and I feel like sometimes we run out of stuff on board here. So I think I'd rather get minions if I'm spending this much mana. Uh, we'll just get the minions. All right, here we go. Leads the kid in tour. Running him from town will be a supreme triumph. All right, let's take him down. Remember, failure, not an option. The League of Evil does not tolerate failure. George versus Cadgar. All right, George versus Cadgar. Let's do it. Come on, George. Oh, boy. Ooh. For revenge. You tell Rathon his plan is finished. Okay, I like the candles against Cadgar because, remember, he does have those elementals. Valonir is good value. But it costs six. Well, wait, no. Costs half, so it's gonna cost us three. Maybe it's worth playing on turn three. It's gonna infinitely kill elementals, so maybe we just keep it. It's gonna always keep coming back to our hand as long as he doesn't polymorph it. But he does play polymorph four, so that's something that he could do to us. All right, mini bot turn one. I have a good feeling about this. Game, knock on wood. Oh. Oh gosh, that's a strong turn. Can't play Valinor yet, but next turn we'll be able to clear that. We could trade in candles right now. I feel like playing the 5 6 mech Annoyatron is pretty good. This is buffed. By bartender Bob, thanks Bob. Buffed by Bob. Hello. Hello. Or blessed by Bob. Okay, two down, only 108 to go. So oh, so the That's a good spell. Yeah, it's I. So he has this guy, Archmage's Apprentice. Whenever you cast a spell, it shuffles a copy into his deck. Pretty useful. But we could kill it with Valonir, we could kill that, or we could leave that. Or... No, I like... We can also Candles twice. Keeps our minion. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, then we can get five to the face. It's probably fine. If we just keep him from... <laughs> Wonderful spell, that <laughs> We just keep him from developing the board, it's okay. And we get another one. So he really likes spells. Whenever you play one, he has a comment. No, he had to use burn on my, my dude, though. Double torch. Alright, now we kill this. Next turn, minion. Oh, three health I see. Oh, I think I'd rather target that. We could also just twin spell. Alright, I like twin spelling this. This is gonna be an easy game. We could keep the weapon though. Oh, we do have another one. My calculations are flawless. Oh no, a two drop. No, Cadgar. What are you doing, dude? All right, we'll see. Trade here and see what we need to get. Oh, I'm down with an 11-9. I think I'm cool with that. Seems good. You can also play either Sylvanas or Rend, but Rend has more attack, so let's trade here. Well, we only have one secret in deck. It's not that big of a Christmas tree. I serve the just like That's fine. Ooh. We can do this. And smork. I kind of like 
like this. It thins our deck of these crappy minions, too. Or we could have smacked him in the face. Ta da! Wide paladin board. Oh, big giant. Two! These little guys just love me. I oh my god. Oh, that's insane. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? Oh no. Like 50 damage or something like that. Oh no. Well, I guess we're not dead. We have Noble Sack too. Okay. Do we? We don't have Lethal though. Not even close. What do we do? We can clear a couple of them. Remember, we can only play two cards. We could, Sylvanas seems like a good card to play here, too. Okay, chill about Carl, all right? This gives somebody Divine Shield. Silver and Sylvanas. I want to give this or this Divine Shield. So I gotta trade this, I guess. Is that it? As long as it's not the Tutu. Avenge me. Or Baku. That worked out. A decent amount of giants there. I serve the Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Give me an 8 8. 8 8, please. That's a lot of damage you did to Sylvanas there. Give me the 8 8. Yes! Pog, good job, Sylvanas. Nice one. Weapon. Okay. Seems good. Could bless this trade trade. Kill one. We don't know what he's gonna top deck, so it's just safer to kill them. Ooh, maybe we should play the. Nah, I like this. Let's give it plus two, plus two. Whatever you discard a card. I've got tons of these things. I serve the Kirin Tor. Huh? I think we got him. I think we did it. Probably not lethal yet, though. Gotta count. Thirty-nine. Good magnetize. Are those adventurers even here? Forty-three. We really should kill these again. 
So. Another drum? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Go face with that. Probably just put another thing on, make it really big. back down to a normal health range. It's just safe just to kill these things because look, even this Roaring Torch, that's 12 damage. Oh good, we get to draw. Wait, no, it's not lethal, right? Wait, wait, if I hit more face? Almost miss lethal <laughs> on my uh, heist video, 2019. I almost miss lethal and hammer of wrath a minion. Always check for lethal every turn. Sorry, I'm a slow counter. Yay, we did it! We beat the final boss and we completed the Dalaran heist on heroic difficulty. Thank you so much for watching and please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for daily Hearthstone videos. I try to post every day and come by on Twitch and say hey to me. Thanks so much again and happy heisting.